Welcome to my Deca Vita 7 review. This is Trent from Vita Reviews, and this is a Deca Vita 7. Game Tech, a developer in Japan, decided to make a device to turn a PlayStation TV into a huge handheld unit. From the design, we've got a 7 inch screen here. As you can see, it's substantially larger than this, which is a PS Vita Slim model. And as far as buttons and everything go, we have this button right here, which functions as the home or PlayStation button. This right here is the power button. We've got two analog sticks here, which both click for R3 and L3 gameplay. The D-pad, the face buttons, and then on the back here, we've got the first two triggers, L1 and R1. And back here, we've got the other two triggers for L2 and R2. Now the actual input area here, as you can see here, it's got a USB port, an HDMI port, and a power port down here for the PSP charger that the PlayStation TV uses. These back here are vents that allow air to go out so the unit doesn't get too hot. And up here are the two speakers for sound. So, as you can see, the PlayStation TV has these ports on it. And if you stick them down in here, I can never really get it in right my first time, but there's a first time for everything. It slips right into place, and you've got this little slider here that can slide and hold it into place. So then, we turn it on. The HDMI input automatically goes in, and the USB connection goes in, enabling this as a display as well as a controller. So let's see how it boots up. You have to hit the home button to enable the controls. So let's just go OK past all this. Turn the volume up a little bit. Okay, and we are set to go. Volume seems to be working great. And we can go into any PlayStation TV compatible game. So, hold it. so let's go into a game that just recently released. Let's see, what is a new release we've got here? Don't see many new releases. So let's just decide to go into Persona 4 Dancing All Night. As you can see, the visual presentation doesn't look great. It's a little bit grainy, but let's go in and check the audio input. I'll be sure to not put too much information in here because I can't go into story or DLC with videos because of the embargo with Atlas. But let's just go into a song and check the audio synchronize. I can already say in my review that it works well, but let's take a visual display. The free dance mode. I can't do that. Let's go for my favorite song. Here it is. First, let's check the volume. This is very low on the volume. This is the max volume. When the system is at max volume, it is extremely loud. It's a lot louder than the Vita's speakers. You can walk completely across the room and close the door and you can still hear it. So, Let's just set and check our audio synchronize. As you can see, I'm not having any problem syncing my button inputs to the notes. Okay, that's enough. So, there isn't any lag when you're putting in audio, and there also isn't any lag when you're putting in button inputs. Sometimes on the PlayStation TV, 
when you have a Bluetooth controller plugged in, you have to have some input lag when you're downloading something. Now, aside from using this as a regular controller, you can also use it as a display. So if I say here, this DS4 is paired to the PlayStation TV, just hook it up and bam, I am going at it. And anytime I want to stop, I can just immediately go back to the on, on, on system controls. So, with this in mind, let's talk about what else it can do. So let's turn the PlayStation TV off. Now that the PlayStation TV has been removed, let's take a look at what else we can do here. This HDMI port right here is a regular HDMI port, which means with the right equipment, you can plug any device into it that has HDMI output as you want. A Blu-ray player, a PS4, a Wii U, an Xbox One. Let's talk about the unique one. If you plug a PS3 into it, you can use the onboard system controls for PS3, but you need the right equipment. Here is the right equipment. This is a female, two female HDMI coupler with a swivel. You need the swivel because you need to be able to have room for the HDMI port. If I plug this in here, it's straight. Where am I gonna put an HDMI port here? So if I swivel it a little bit, I have plenty of room. There's a PS3 off screen that I am going to plug in here and we will see what happens with the display. So we'll just set that down here and let's watch the display come at. And there we go. Aside from using a USB port to sync the on-system controls of the PS3, we can use a PS3 controller. So let's use a PS3 controller. Let's turn up the volume a little bit. And we've got perfect audio input, perfect button input. And we can do whatever we want. So let's boot up a PS3 game and see how it looks. screen and there you go let's take a look the screen did it did wash out a little bit but on ps3 games it's a lot harder to tell there's a difference it still looks really nice so now that we've got that taken care of Let's turn this off. All in all, the Deck of Vita 7 is something that no one really thought would ever be made. It makes PlayStation TV gamers have something to take on the go with them for a few hours. And it fixes a few things that the Vita had in mind, like pairing a controller to it for complete gameplay, as well as the fact that the screen doesn't auto-dim when you're going through long cutscenes. There are a few downsides to it. The screen does look a little bit washed out and grainy, especially when you're looking at less graphically impressive games. The L2 and R2 triggers are a little bit on the small side and a little hard to get used to. And from time to time, the speakers will pick up some static noise. Outside of this is a very interesting and bulky device for anyone that wants a more controller feel with their handheld or just wants a display so they can 
do some couch play with their PlayStation 3 or any other console system that they don't mind pairing a controller to. PlayStation Vita Reviews rates the Deck of Vita 7 a 7 out of 10. If you have any comments on this or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or head to my site at VitaReviews.net to look at that, look at PlayStation TV compatibility, or donate to my cause.